Hello guys, I'm Nona Prince and I've been getting a lot of recommendations for movies from 80s and 90s. You know the classics. I'll definitely check them out and I'll be taking help from the Discord guys. So if you want to be a part of it, go join the link in the description. But I have to tell you that I feel little reserved about watching old movies. I'm not sure if I like them or not. And why is that? You know, it's very difficult to appreciate these films because when they came out, they were a big deal. They were something which people had not seen at all. But today watching those films, it's very hard to look at those films according to that time when it came out. Because as a viewer, I'll not have that awe for the film that people had when they watched it for the first time. I like giving examples, so let's take an example. Michael Jackson. I discovered him very late in my life, that too after he died. And of course, you know, he created his own style, own kind of dance. And till today, people are inspired by him. They have taken up that style, tried to modify it, evolved it, and made it something way bigger than what it was. And now when I, you know, look back at his dance performances, his concerts, they don't impress me that much. But today, when I look at the evolved versions, what people have done to the style, take example of MJ5, if you have seen their dances. They have their own channel, you can check out their dance. And what they have done with that MJ style, it just impresses me. And nothing to take away from Michael Jackson. He created this style. It's named after him. He laid the foundation. And I'm sure he'll be proud of people like MJ5. Same Similarly, many classics, they've inspired today's filmmakers. They've learned from it, they've adopted it and took it to the next level. And when I've already looked at this advanced version, looking back at the initial version, it doesn't excite me at all. Consider Pokemon. If I've already seen what Charizard can do, of course I'll choose him over Charmeleon. One more important thing is relevancy. Surviving the passage of time. You know, time is a big factor. Time changes things, time evolves the society. Things which were acceptable then are not acceptable today. The technology has advance so much and that's why you know many old films don't age well and even films which are 5 to 10 years old even they don't survive it and we are talking about the films which are 30 to 40 years old consider star wars a classic example when it came out it blew everyone's mind people had not seen anything like that on the big screen ever there was nothing like that all the science fiction fantasy everything which came after that was inspired from star wars star wars played a big part in evolving the technology for films consider it vfx consider it the theater system it all evolved because they wanted to match the scope of that film. In the era where I saw the Star Wars films, there are already 50% movies that are releasing in theatres are all full of VFX. I've already seen the best of the best. Consider Avatar, Avengers, the whole MCU. And even the storytelling. Star Wars initiated this arc of hero's journey. How Luke travels, learns something new and finally be victorious. Which nowadays we see in every film. And now that story structure is evolved and advanced and have become better. So when I have seen the better version, going back and watching the old films, they don't excite me at all. They feel very bland. They lack character depth. And that's the irony because they started it. Now let's take the example of 12 Angry Men, a 1957 film. It's an amazing film. Of course, there are some shortcomings, things which will not work today. Choice of camera angle and camera movements, some of the acting, it feels very theatrical. But in that era, that was the norm. But what makes this film still stand out is that this was a progressive film. The issues this film talked about is still present today in a society. It has not gone, it is not managed. It has not changed through time. It has still stayed in us. This film was relevant. And even the concept of having the whole film in just one room is still so rare because it's very difficult to make an engaging film in just one room. And that's why it's still considered one of the classics. And contextually, it survives the passage of time. See, at the end, no one is right or wrong. This is how the world works. Things evolve, things change. Just consider our parents. The life they lived, the childhood they had compared to us is very, very different. We have the luxuries that they didn't even know existed. And you know, sometimes we take all of that for granted. So guys, those are my thoughts on watching old films. I'll definitely watch them, but we have to take them with a grain of salt. And it's a task, it's not easy to watch old films. That too in some other language which you don't know. So guys, thank you for watching this video. If you like this, thumbs up, share this video. Let me in the comments your thoughts. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out the videos and if you like them too, do consider subscribing and I'll see you next time. Stay home, stay safe.